he was never held accountable. I just kind of sat sat by and just kind of watched and preserved all the screen caps, the audio files, everything I've ever had on him. I just sat by and I preserved it, waiting for the opportune time to uh, present it to uh, a legitimate mainstream news media if they should ever you know, step in. And that's all I ever wanted was for Brian to finally be held to the same standards that the mainstream news media would hold anybody else. He was always protected by the you know clickbait blogosphere, the the bullshit fake news. He'll never step. You'll notice that Brian Gofage will never step into any kind of a situation where he can ever actually be challenged. Everyone he talks to, and everyone he gets interviewed by, these are uh, people that are already on his side. Uh, I want a close shot. Get the camera and get a close shot of Brian's left chest. I want you to see those medals. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for your heroism and sacrifice for this country. Uh, you're amazing. Well, first off, thank you for your service uh, to, to our great country. How, how can people donate if they, if, if they choose to? Um, we set up just a, a site right now called WeFundTheWall.com. Four days ago, he started this thing. And can you believe it? He has raised more than $13 million already. Incredible response. Joining me right now, Iraq War veteran and founder of the GoFundMe page. The triple amputee Iraq War veteran behind a GoFundMe page to raise money for the border wall is now the new target of the left-wing media. You know, I want to start this off with just get it out there. And I want to let you guys know that I sacrificed three limbs for everybody for, for your freedom. If they want to contribute to your fund, how would they do that, Brian? Uh, we, we set up a website to control everybody. That's when it was pulled. That was in the news. I was raising all that money for, for Justice Kavanaugh. I was completely shocked when I saw the Buzz here article because it's blatantly false, completely false. A disgruntled employee, she was fired and she wants her 15 minutes of fame and that's all it is. A former airman terribly wounded in Iraq is terribly upset by a flag he saw flying at Davis Monthan. It's modeled after the American flag, but the red and white stripes are replaced by the rainbow colors of the gay pride movement. It's theater. It's not real. So he's never really been held accountable or, or made to answer for the things he's done or the things he's doing. And um, uh, now that he's finally in the sights of legitimate news uh, media, uh, he's, he's talking talent, he's running. No, I mean, you, I've, I've never seen somebody give so many no comments or just flat out ignore people in the past two weeks than Brian Colfage. Or he, he blocks people. You yeah. Know, it's crazy. Like, I've seen so many people posting screenshots of <laughs> after they're blocked by Brian for calling him out. He just won't even, like, deal with it. Yeah, he's, he's blocking um, journalists from the Daily Caller. Yeah. It, it ain't going to happen. He ain't going to sue BuzzFeed. He ain't going to sue Facebook, of which he's currently collecting money for. It ain't going to happen. I mean, he likes to pretend that Facebook targeted him and this and that. He leaves out the fact that um, uh, Facebook has, you know, dozens of um, abuses of their TOS by him, harassment complaints. Uh, he's been flagged multiple times on various accounts. Oh, well, in addition to putting out blatantly fake news, um, when he purchased right wing news from Jonathan Hawkins, he told us, uh, yeah, we've just uh, bought this page and don't tell anybody, though, because it's against Facebook's terms and conditions. And uh, it's pretty funny, though, because he's gone on Fox Business now three different times, swearing up and down that he's never broken Facebook's terms and conditions. And I actually have a, um, a text message that I've given to the media showing that he did, in fact, uh, break Facebook's terms and conditions. So his little uh, lawsuit, he thinks he's going to win against Mark Zuckerberg up in the Supreme Court. Sorry, buddy. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, he he's, has no intention of ever of ever suing Facebook. It's not going to happen. 